Good evening and welcome to News 24. This is Tamima Islam at the top news of the day. Awami League General Secretary Ubaidul Qadir made it clear that those involved in misdeeds will not be given tickets in the upcoming 12th parliamentary elections. Awami League central leaders said that the election would be held under the ruling party in accordance with the constitution. The leaders made the remarks at a discussion meeting on the 75th birthday of Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina. The Chief Secretary to the Prime Minister said that the special vac vaccination program started on the auspicious occasion of Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina's birthday would continue in the future being subject to vaccination status. He made the remarks after inspecting the special vaccination campaign in Dhaka on Tuesday. He stated the government also took a plan to administer the vaccine at a dose of one crore per day in the future. Meanwhile, according to the DGHS, there were 31 COVID-19 deaths recorded in the last 24 hours. The High Court extended the bail of BNP Chairperson Khalida Zia by one year in five separate cases. As a result, her bail was extended in three cases in Dhaka and one each in Narayal and Kumilla. On Tuesday, the High Court bench headed by Justice Mohammed Abdul Hafiz heard the bail pleas of the cases and ordered the extension of bail in three defamation cases in Dhaka and one in Narayal. Furthermore, a High Court bench headed by Justice AFM Asadul Zaman also extended her bail in a case of sabotage in Kumilla. Eggs were thrown targeted at French President Emmanuel Macron at a dinner party in the city of Lyon in France. Leo Mag posted video footage of the incident on Twitter. In the crowd, security forces surrounded Macron when a thrown egg fell on the president's neck. One person was later seen detained in the crowd. However, motive of the incident is not yet known. The SAF Championship is going to start in Maldives from October 1st. The Bangladesh national t football team is leaving the country ahead of this event. Alita Kingsley of Nigerian origin will not be playing forward for the Bangladesh team as he did not get clearance from FIFA and AFC. There will be no group stage in this year's SAF Championship. Each team will be playing against each other in this five-team tournament. The top two teams on the points table will advance to the finals. Bangladesh's opponent in the second match of the opening day is Sri Lanka. That's all the news for today. Thank you for watching News24. Please stay with us.